Good morning, everyone. It's Joker, and today we are back with another slime video. I'm a bit late to this, but I was out with some friends, and I'm just getting back home. It's like 11 at night. Um, and, you know, if you're a global player, you'll notice that there's nothing to really talk about, because there's nothing in the news. However, and they've been doing this more often uh, lately, is uh, they just don't give us the updates on global, because JP has a content preview. But, uh, yeah, uh, we, we, we don't. So, we'll be looking at some JP images. I will translate as best as I can. This is all coming out. And, it you know, just because we don't have it, it's still going to come out at the same time. It will be tomorrow night at 7 p.m. So, you know, 20 hours from now, give or take. Yeah, 20 hours from recording this. But we will get all of this content alongside JP. There is no split between it. So it looks like we're getting a bait banner. And so let's look at the details here. Okay, so this starts tomorrow and goes until the second, or technically the first for me. And this is a guaranteed five-star multi. And if you do 50 pity, so five multi, you can only do this actually five times, I think is what this says. Yeah, you can only do it five times. But at 50 pity, you get a what looks like a guaranteed EX ticket. Is that right? Hold on, translate. Uh, let's see. At least one five-star character is guaranteed. Cool. Next line. During the event period, you can draw 10 consecutive scouts five times only. Okay. In addition, with 50 pity, you can get a guaranteed EX five-star battle character with exchange crystals. Okay. And then looks like the anniversary selection scout ticket can be exchanged. So I'm not sure if it's a pity ticket and it's just another banner or if it's a selector ticket. You know, it's, it's Google Translate. So, you know, you got to take it with a grain of salt. Okay. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. Okay. Uh, well, okay. We're just going to have to see on that one. Here we've got, oh, black crystals coming back. Okay. Well, these are very much bait things right here. These are only for whales. You, you need a lot of these to buy anything worthwhile. Uh, introducing, a, <laughs> introducing a great value pack that includes scout tickets and more. Includes two and a half anniversary selection exchange pack and more. Okay, so it's going to have crystals. It's going to have some kind of five guaranteed five star ticket on this two and a half anniversary bait banner that does have vengeance on it, which is cool. Um, and then black crystals, if you buy enough packs that have these, you can straight up just buy one of the characters from the shop. So that's what the exchange thing is that's saying in the text down here. These are only for the big time whales. I do not recommend people buy these packs because you have to buy like three to guarantee that you're going to get somebody or in it. They're like $80 packs, right? So these are not for light spenders. So just stay away from them. They, they look pretty. Don't, don't, don't spend your money on them. We have Jubilee coming also tomorrow night, okay, against Hinata, uh, the 37th Jubilee. This is good, so we'll be able to test out, uh, you know, Diablo and the full Primal Demon team at its maximum power. I might stream tomorrow night, you know, just, a, just some runs, I guess, just for some funsies. Uh, cause we're not going to have, I'm not going to be having another stream until the 25th. So yeah, maybe it would be a good idea to do that and just get some, uh, some stream time out there. All right, I mean, this should be a pretty standard Jubilee, regardless of all this text. It's all just filler stuff. Uh, we have Corridor of Awakening coming with the bingo boards, so they just kind of flip on and off. So that's cool. So norm, you know, sometimes Corridor of Awakening just doesn't have anything except Corridor. And then sometimes it has these bingos that give you shards and then guaranteed tickets. This is obviously the much preferred version, but again, it's not every time. Corridor of Awakening is where you will get these corridor shards to use in this shop, and you can buy up the previous uh, four-star characters and dupe them past their max level 100. So, like, these are, you know, at Sufia, these are the, all the old, old free-to-play characters, and you can buy their primary stuff with flashback crystals, but then if you want to take them to level 120, uh, there are not enough dupes in the shop to buy. You'd have to exchange the corridor shards for them. Uh, and, you know, some people, I, I don't have any use. Some, they're good. There's going to be gold 
cool. All right, I can't use anything. Corridor wing is not a difficult thing. It's pretty much a giveaway. It doesn't matter too much whether you do it or not, except if you want to take like Isis and Water Remaru and Geld to level 120. And that's only your really incentive. Uh, that's just talking more corridor and how they have the bingos and the five stars. And then we have the Kaijin event. Now this event is by far the single greatest event that this game has ever put out. And it does not come around very often. Like we got one for the Overlord meta and then we got one for New Year's. So, you know, they, they come, you know, these have been nicely spaced out to be perfectly honest, but sometimes you can go four or five months without one of these. And the reason they're so good, and let me pause and let me pull up a video really fast. All right, so this is this is what the Kaijin event looks like, and it has multiple stages, and it, you can grind very very specific things out of here. Mainly the EX or the just the ability rocks. So for new players who are just loving up their characters, and you need to you know you need stats, the ability boards, these things that you need. They have a stage dedicated to every single color, so if you're really, really low on reds, you can grind the stage. And these stages are also not super duper difficult, and you can parallel process them. And I highly, highly recommend new players focus all of their stamina on this event, because it's not going to be around for very long, right? It's here for four days. So you give up four days of you know doing other things, and you put it all into this event. You can get some major rewards, like this stage you get the small medium large rocks you also get the rainbows which are really coveted and then as you scroll down you have another stage that has ores and then grindstones and the ore stage is what i like to parallel process the most because it gives you not only ore but the elemental cores that you need to make gear and the other materials you need to awaken and level up and reforge gear so this is why it's a it's a very good event because you can parallel process any of these stages overnight, get a whole lot of rocks, get a whole lot of materials. The grindstone event, it only gives magic ore and grindstones. It actually doesn't really give you that much for your stamina cost. So it's probably the weakest of the stages as far as grinding is concerned. But for new players who especially now when we're getting so many free summons every single day pretty much on like the season three banner you're probably going to pull a number of new characters and you're going to need a lot of resources to level them up and the best way to do that is a kaijin event where you can grind out and you can get every single color rock and you can get materials to make a whole butt ton of gear for all these brand new characters that you're pulling left and right, or maybe not left and right, depending on how your luck goes. This is a very good event, and every time it comes around, I beg players to grind this out as much as possible. If you don't have that many stamina potions because you're starting out, like, yes, that's understandable. Focus, you know, your efforts on it to whatever extent that you can. It will impact your growth, your character, and your box growth immensely if you focus even a little bit of time into it and at least clear the stages once because you know each stage is five free crystals right for like the three star clears and you get 10 of each of the materials that you're actually going for so it's just it's good value all around and again they're not difficult by any means like this 180 is very deceiving so if you don't have 180 it's not that big a deal the primal demon team will wash any of these stages right straight up they will murderize any of these stages so it's not hard uh, but that seems to be about it, and that's going to go until the 27th. Uh, Jubilee is going until the 23rd, which is technically the 22nd. Okay. And we know, based on, you know, in-game right now, uh, the, let's see, the Part 1 banner, yeah, ends on the 25th, which means that we are going to get the new meta. We're going to get the, technically, Part 2 of the 2 and a half anniversary, right? Because Jean and Blanc are technically Part 1. Uh, but this, the next banner on the 25th in 10 days is going to be a triple featured unit banner. It's going to have a brand new protector and two new battle units. So it would be like the Diablo and Violet banner plus another new unit. And that's what makes it so good. And it should also be that Super Isekai Rovery 6% rate up. So, you know, that is the true big time, like, 
two and a half anniversary banner that they like to confuse us by doing this part one a half a month early. Um, if you're done summoning for this, then all of your crystals should probably be focused onto the 25th when that drops. We don't know who's coming yet. Uh, we'll get a free to play gear teaser, maybe around the 23rd, 24th. Uh, we'll also get a live stream announcement. I don't know if it's going to be the day before or the day of the last time it was the day of. So we're going to have to wait and see about that too. Um, I would probably bank on it being the 25th because it's the hype stuff and they don't want to wait too long in between so i i would expect the 25th at four in the morning a dev live stream and then 7 p.m that night pacific time uh will be the banner drop for with, with the brand new characters but you know this should be the big time stuff this should be a team that lasts for a good amount of time that is able to do almost everything and should also introduce probably uh, some kind of new gimmick alongside the previously announced guilds and new gear substats and all that that's coming there's a lot of stuff coming on the 25th so we're kind of in that kind of dead period because if you don't care about jubilee then you, you really don't have a lot to do um when does corridor start this okay corridor starts tomorrow and goes until the 23rd all right so um yeah not a lot to do this looks to be a super bait banner i honestly like do not summon on this please be smart with your crystals also it's going until after the start of the next banner right it's going until the first technically for me the second for other people it'll be out around for a week so it's like if you honestly don't like what's coming out on the 25th then you i guess you could roll on this it's a once a day thing though so and you have to do it five days to get that guaranteed pity I, I still really don't recommend people summon on this. They should be saving their crystals for the 25th. All right. Uh, but that looks to be about it. Jubilee starts tomorrow night. I might stream. I might not. It kind of depends. But let me know what you guys think. Please do the Kaijin event when it comes out. That's it for me. Take it easy. And I'll see you all later.